I kept coming up with reasons why I was doing the right thing. I told myself that if Rex and Stacy would find a way to make it work with the baby, I told myself that you and I were in love and and we'd be together forever and we'd have kids of our own someday. And what would happen to the baby that you already had? I could keep an eye on her. From a distance, I already knew Rex was a good dad. I thought he'd do right by Sierra Rose, too. And besides, I'd always be nearby if anything bad ever Something happened. Something bad did happen, Skylar. She almost died on that mountain because of you. Assuming everything we said was true, that Sky did steal the oxytocin from the hospital and used it to help this girl have the baby early, uh, what kind of trouble would he be in? Well, it depends on the baby's condition. I'm not sure. All Greg said was that Sky came into the hospital with a preemie. Worst case scenario, if the baby is in crisis or if, God forbid, the baby dies, if Skylar gave the mother that drug to deliver the baby early, he could be facing murder charges. I was so relieved to find Stacy at that cabin safe. It, she was sore and tired. She had just given birth, but... My girl was okay. And the baby she was being taken to the hospital was a total miracle. You should have seen this cabin. I have. It belongs to my ex-wife, Vicki, so I've been there plenty of times. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just... Just not... no place to give birth. I... Certainly not in the middle of a snowstorm. But she did it. Because Stacy's a survivor. Because she can do anything. You don't have to do this right now. I left her for one second. Just one second. And when I came back, she was gone. But she was so worried about the baby, she went out to look for her. And then she ended up falling through a frozen lake. By the time I got there, she was gone. My best friend is dead, and it's all my fault. It's not your fault. It's it was an accident. No, you don't know everything. So this is how it's going to go. You're going to get your hands on some oxytocin. You're going to give it to Stacy. We're all going to live happily ever after. If I had done things differently, Stacy might never have gone up that mountain in the first place. Now listen to me. Stacy did not just go up that mountain. Mitch Lawrence kidnapped her. I know, but... What? Whatever it is, Kimberly, you can tell me. Skylar Joplin knocked Stacy up after I gave a roof to that evil snake. He goes after Gigi. Wait a minute. Did anyone tell Gigi? Yeah, she knows. Hallelujah, I feel like dancing. Bring your squeeze back home. That's what I said, but he won't listen. Right, well, what is the matter with you? Come on, you gotta listen to me. He's smart, he's smarter than you are. Go bring your girl back home. You, you knew that psychopath Mitch Lawrence wanted Rex's baby for himself. Sierra Rose, if he found out she wasn't his grandchild, he would have left Stacy alone. How could you? How could you knew and you didn't stop it? How could you do this? How could you keep quiet? How could you put your baby's life in danger, huh? You let this happen to Stacy. My sister is dead because of you. I don't know if I can say it. Whatever it is you think you did, you can tell me. I... I let Stacy out of my sight. She was a grown woman. Who was fresh off childbirth and totally out of it. Stacy would still be alive if I had it. Okay, okay. I am not going to stand here and let you blame yourself for Stacy's death because it's not true. And it certainly won't bring her back. And now, you have something far more important to focus on. 
Stacy's baby. What do you mean? Well, that little girl is now going to rely on you. Tell her all the wonderful things about her mother. It's not fair. I know it's not. Stacy's baby should be growing up with Stacy, not hearing about her from me. Now she'll only have my word that her mother wasn't a total bitch. Okay, sometimes Stace was a total bitch, but there was more to her than that. And anybody who took two minutes to see Pastor Pacey's energy string knew that. Stacy fell in love with Sierra Rose. Nobody knew it but me. What are you waiting for? It's not like Stacy's hanging around. And Mom's not gonna want Skylar anymore. Just stop, okay? We all want Gigi back, but she just lost her sister. And her niece is having an operation that could kill her. What? What's wrong with the baby? It's her heart. She's got a rare defect that's making her really sick. But they're gonna fix her, right? Well, they're gonna do everything they can. But you understand, right? Now is not the time for me to get into Gigi's face. Why not? I mean, it's not like you have to give her a hard sell about the two of you being together, which, you know, you're a perfect couple, but listen, she needs a shoulder to lean on, so she shouldn't be waiting on that baby alone. She's not. Who's she with? Skylar? She's what mom needs. Can you watch Shane? No, no, no. You, you go and you find her. I'm good here. Totally. Dad, when you see Mom, tell her I'm sorry about Aunt Stacy. I will. Stacy would be alive if you had told the truth. You're right. You think so? What happened to Stacy and Sierra Rose, that's all on me. Why didn't you say anything? Because I was scared of losing you. Having me was worth all this? Having you made my messed up life feel like it mattered. My addiction cost me everything, Gigi. I lost my friends. I lost years with my mother. I could have been a doctor by now. I could have been somebody that people look up to. And instead, I pissed it all away. You turn it around, Because God. of God. you! Because of you! You made my life feel like it was worth the damn. Falling in love with you made me feel real, like I was alive and awake, and like my life mattered. You did that. But you didn't trust me enough to tell me the truth. I know when I found out Stacy was carrying my baby, I panicked. I panicked, but all I, all I could see was that I might lose you. Instead, you nearly lost your child. I didn't see the gift Stacy was offering me. I didn't. I didn't realize my mistake until it was too late. Sky. But I, but I did figure it out. And if I can figure me out, then we can figure us out. It's too late. Don't say that. I can't Don't even look at you. I just have to be with the baby now. Murder. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I want to help Sky, but I, I don't know what to do. Well, that's why you hired a smart lawyer. Let me take care of it. How?